Austin, and I'm here with my buddy Joseph. What's up? And uh, we, I just flew in to hey, Los give, Angeles, give, give California. Okay, look at this. this. Look at this. From LA. That's what's up. <laughs> it's beautiful. So uh, me and Joseph, we're just talking about like vibe and energy. And it's my first time in Los Angeles. We're actually here in Santa Monica. And man, I noticed just the energy of everybody is different. Like you talk to an old lady on the street and a big smile on her face, right? And that's important because energy is transferable, right? We've talked about that before. Yeah. Uh, like people feel what you feel. And so that actually increases your vibe, right? That increases the way you feel about yourself. Uh, in the moment and gets you out of, um, I guess, a logical mindset and in, more into like a more social flowing mindset. Yeah, okay. so one of the things I noticed about LA, because I've been here for a while now, it's been about three months, is that people over here really value vibes. So if you've got a high vibe and you're doing things to raise your vibe up and you connect with people, they'll be totally open and embracing of the vibe. That's because here in LA, you have to have a high vibe in order to make it. A lot of people come down here for business or to become a Hollywood celebrity, rappers, so forth, like all stuff like that, right? And a lot of that stuff is like a, connected to like the artistic side or the um, creative parts of the brain and so forth. And in order to be able to bring that best uh, creativity out, you've gotta be in a certain state of mind, a higher vibe state of mind. And one of the important aspects of vibe is that you really carry that vibe with authenticity. Because if you don't carry it with authenticity, then you're trying to put on an act put on a vibe and as far as dating goes you're gonna attract somebody who's not being real with themselves too so the key is to do things in your life and put yourself in as many scenarios whether it's work living career social circles friendships people around you certain food that you eat going to the gym all that kind of stuff that authentically and organically raises up your vibe so when you're at this place where you've got that certain vibe and you're projecting it outwards you're just connecting with people and you're really just being you that part of you that's the high vibe and they pick up on that and if it's a person that is in that same vibe you just tend to get along i was telling justin about how and that's just not the first time it's happened a lot of times like i'll travel because i travel a lot for my business and i'll end up chatting up with the person who's like sitting beside me and we'll spend the whole day hanging out afterwards right part of it is you can say law of attraction uh, a large part of it is that I think there's like, I guess you can say it is law of attraction because it's like a gravitational pull that pulls two people together from the same reality. Like they're, it's, it's like they were meant to meet. I mean, this is some far out stuff. We could talk more about it, but it is what it is. And I, a while back, I used to battle that kind of way of thinking and I was doubtful of it. And now after seeing so much evidence of that, especially being down in LA, cause LA is all about that. Like it's all about the high vibe and so forth. After you see enough evidence, it just you just accept that as your normal way of being in reality. And one of the things that I found with that is when I'm connecting with people, when I'm meeting people, I'm just trying to do it, not even trying, I'm just being from an energetic level, a certain way, a certain way and uh, the other person will respond. And if they're in that same vibe level, the conversation will always continue and it's very organic. And the cool thing about that is I don't have to pretend to be someone I'm not. Man, that's awesome because like I notice like when I'm at a certain point in my life, I kind of track people with the same mindset, right? So um, my girl Courtney, I've been like hanging out with, um, we both came in each other's lives, like kind of long term when we both came out of relationships, right? Um, me and Nick, uh, we actually met each other like outside a club because we're both trying to improve our like social skills and dating lives, right? So you actually attract literally what you are. And so when you can actually raise your vibe, you actually attract people like that. So if you want to meet cool girls or cool people and make cool friends, you want to actually raise your vibe. So uh, as Joe's talked about, clean eating helps with that, fitness helps with that, but actually being in places that can actually force you to raise your vibe, such as a tough city like um, Los Angeles, uh, where it's like always sunny, but you have to hustle if you want to live here, that can actually raise your vibe to become a person you want to be. So another thing I wanted to say about vibe is that vibe is kind of a, more of an abstract concept, right? It's hard to like granularly pin down what it actually means. But there's some few uh, litmus tests, some gauges that I use to know if it's uh, really about the vibe and if I'm flowing into a higher state of vibe. And it's really just based on me accepting who I am in that particular moment that I'm putting out that vibe. So if I'm tired, then it's okay for me to be tired. And as I'm being okay with that vibe, I'll start to feel that my vibe will start going up. 
and then I become more okay with that vibe and it just keeps going up and up and up. The moment I get to a point where, let's say I'm interacting with somebody and I think that they're way cooler than me or it's somebody that I wanna date or meet or do business with, um, and I attach this uh, thing in my brain that says I want this with them or from them, that's when I start to see my vibe go down. And then I can possibly go into like a desperation kind of vibe and your vibe starts killing and going lower and lower. So the key that I found is to always be in this place where you're okay with whatever happens in front of you and you're just projecting your energy outwards that you have at that current moment and trust that your vibe is gonna go high when you accept yourself. Now the cool thing about that, and Justin and I were talking about it, is that the higher your vibe goes, the more likely you're gonna attract people that are in alignment with you and you're gonna be able to do that deal that you want. You're, you're gonna be able to get that kind of date or whatever it is that you want because you will work yourself into uh, a vibe that's just not necessarily high. It doesn't have to be like ridiculously high, but it's authentic and it is uh, in alignment with some core aspects of what you're really looking for that you're not filtering through your fear and your frustrations and things like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so we're also talking about how vibe can actually just make things happen uh, because it allows you to hit a high level of consciousness where you just trust in yourself. Um, there's this saying where attention goes, energy flows. And Joseph was actually talking about how uh, he decided to move to LA specifically because he just wanted to. His conscious level raised and he's like, I'm gonna make it happen. He didn't know how he was going to, but then he structures his life so that he can come live in Los Angeles. Yeah, so what happened was I ended up coming down here one time and then feeling, oh, this is a really good place to live. I like the energy down here, kind of like how Justin feels right now. And then I went back to Toronto and then I felt that there was this kind of difference, this energetic difference. Uh, I love Toronto, but I felt an energetic difference. And then what happens is I came back and then felt the vibe here again. Like my vibe was going up higher. And a lot of like things would happen when I'm down here, like my meditations would be a lot deeper, uh, stuff like that. I don't know if it's like that for everyone, but this is my experience. And then I would go back and forth a number of times until I finally realized that there's a big difference being down here and doing the things that I do for my business down here. And it's really gonna propel me forward. So then what happened is I made a decision that I was gonna move down here and then I figured it out. I figured out how to do it. And I'm not gonna get into the technicalities, but there was a lot of things I had to do that maybe to some people would be considered impossible. But I have this thing in my mind that I've always been this way, I'm just more of it now, that I believe that I will always create what I want. So anything that I've ever wanted in my life, I was able to create. Everything from like business or certain life situations, I was always able to create it. Anytime, anytime I had a hard time creating something, it's because my vibe wasn't there. So I think when we talk about vibe, the more we believe in ourselves and we're okay with ourselves, there's like this belief and being okay and whatever exercises and things we have to do to get to that place where we're both believing in ourselves and okay with ourselves, the higher our vibe goes and then when our vibe gets higher, our brain goes into this, maybe it's our brain, maybe it's something else, I don't know, but you start to see opportunities that other people don't see and you have the confidence to execute upon those opportunities. And a lot of times when you see those opportunities, they're not like the traditional opportunities. So if you tell somebody about it, they might not agree with it, but you still have the confidence because your vibe is so high to pursue that. And when you pursue it, you figure out even more nuances and specific areas that you need to optimize and you actually end up creating it. So this is one of the important aspects for me why, why raising your vibe or being in places like LA, for example, where your vibe is really high is important. Now, I think the best part about vibe and uh, getting to a higher vibe is you're literally getting to a higher level of consciousness almost, where you're kind of seeing to your own self and figuring out what the right decision is. So as you go out, as you talk to more people, as you gain more positive energy, you can actually make better decisions, right? And these decisions might suck, um, they might be a little bit painful, but in the long run, in the long term, they give you better results at life and make you a happier person overall. Now, an example of this might be um, breaking up with your girlfriend to travel to another country and live a different life. Or it might be uh, quitting eating junk food so you can be healthy. Or it might be uh, pushing your comfort zone so you can go out and be social. Yeah. Hello. I like your hair. Are you from LA? Where are you from?
Yeah, so we were talking about how um, back in the days, like I'm 36 right now, back in the days when I was working on my vibe, when I first started working on my vibe, I would tend to get pissed off when things didn't go my way. And uh, so it didn't matter if it was like my job or communicating with people and so forth. If things didn't go my way, I'd, I'd give off this really awkward vibe and sometimes I'd get really angry. And then just looking back in retrospect, after you do a lot of this work on yourself where you are conscious and aware of your vibe and what you're putting out there, um, when you look back to where you started and that kind of dark energy and how it was, it's, it's quite revealing the progress you make. Now it doesn't end, uh, I, I don't believe it ever ends because there's always going to be a scenario that's more challenging that really tests your frame and your ability to keep building the vibe up even when things don't go your way. And it could be environmental situations, it could be situations that happen to you in your life, uh, maybe something, something somebody says to you. And so the key I found for that is to be really aware of what bothers you and then figure out how that thing has control of you and essentially triggering this response of blaming the other person or getting angry and just quickly pivot in a different direction. So this is actually something we're talking about that, right? Pivot yep. into a different direction. Like immediately put your attention on something else or someone else that is both positive and even if you don't feel it's positive, just like shift it in a different direction. Because what happens is if you put, if you hold your attention on whatever it is that's bothering you or pissing you off, then it'll start to uh, build more, like that anger will build more and then your vibe will start going down. And if you keep pivoting and you keep raising your vibe up, then that kind of becomes the default, it becomes the normal. And one of the things that will happen is you'll develop a very healthy respect for yourself and you'll also have a very healthy respect for others because you'll get very good at understanding nuance, nuance in your words, nuance in your communication, nuance in environments, and nuance really is where the power lies. Let me explain nuance. So you can tell somebody that this is how it works, like it either works X, Y, or Z. But the reality is that in certain situations, it's a variant of X and Y, or a combo of X, X and Y. So someone might say, like, in, let's take a social situation. How would you respond to the social situation? They might say, the best way to respond is this, or the best way to respond is that. Well, in more complex social situations, the best way to respond is actually a variation in between, it's a nuance. So in order for, like, this is some uh, pretty complicated things, but in order to get to the realization where you can really understand what nuance is and embrace it, you have to become really self-aware of where your energy is going into a direction where your vibe goes down. And then you'll start to understand the nuances, like you'll start to feel it, and then you'll become more aware of the very nuanced things you do in social situations, in business situations, in any type of situation that involves conflicts. And it's usually those nuanced situations where there's a lot of power and to an onlooker who sees you interacting and executing one of those nuance moves, it can seem almost magical. What do you, what do you got to say about that? Yeah. You know what? I agree. I think uh, when you can't actually raise your vibe, it's almost like um, you, you can kind of create your own reality and structure it the way you want. Um, I think the way we should end this video is talking about ways we can actually raise your vibe. Yeah. Okay, so a um, couple ways I've done it. Uh, the 10 day positivity challenge. So it's a little challenge uh, when I go about my day and something pisses me off, I shift my attention from that negative kind of mindset to a positive one uh, by not getting emotionally attached to the negativity. So what happens is, let's say uh, I get pissed off at someone, if I spend longer than two minutes um, or maybe even 30 seconds upset, I have to restart my 10 day positivity challenge from day one. So I have to do that 10 days in a row. And I notice usually at the end of the 10 days, I literally become a much more positive, much more high vibe person. Um, another way uh, I'm able to maintain a good vibe is 30 day challenges. So uh, whatever skill I want to get good at or uh, whatever little uh, micro behavior I want to maximize, I do a 30 day challenge to maximize it. So I go out every day and work on that little skill for 30 days and then after that it kind of becomes a habit and part of who I am. Uh, for me, uh, things that I do to raise up my vibe is number one, I do a morning routine. So every day 
uh, five days a week. And Saturdays and Sundays, I allow myself to deviate from the morning routine, but I'll wake up, I will do, uh, I'll drink some water, tall glasses of water, and then I'll go to the gym, I'll work out, and then I'll come home, I'll have a post-workout meal, I'll do a 15-minute meditation, and shower, and get ready. So this kind of prepares me and lays the frame for the day. And when I find that I follow this process, then I'm ready to begin work and ready to begin whatever I'm going to do. That's one of the things that I do. The other thing that I do is I observe and I write and I note, I, I more note, I don't write on my phone, anything that is within my awareness of that day that I experience that shifts my vibe into a lower state, that essentially lowers my vibe. It might have been maybe a dirty look from somebody or it might have been a situation or an environmental place that I placed myself in. Whatever it is, I note it down. And the next thing I do after I note that down is I realize or I go and study how I am the cause of that, how I actually put myself in that situation because I keep rereading, uh, rewriting or recreating the same patterns based on uh, a lower state or a lower version of myself, you could say, or um, a past um, level and now that I want to rise up to a higher level I ex I uh, overcome that by saying that number one I'm responsible for it and number two I say how can I have responded differently in that situation because it's not really what happens to you but how you respond to it that matters so then what I'll do is I'll say how could I have responded to it better then what I'll do is the next day I will actively put myself in that situation, if, if, if applicable. There's a lot of variations to this, but if I can put myself in that situation again and then get myself to react in a positive way, then I've essentially overcome that. And when I overcome it, my, my vibe goes up. And when my vibe goes up, I don't usually find myself in that same kind of test again. And if I do find myself in that same kind of test again, what happens is, by default like an automatic trigger I respond in a favorable way thus raising up my vibe so I've got many of these diff different things like that I talk about this in my channel but um, this is just a couple that I find very useful all right guys I hope you enjoyed the video I want you guys to go out work on yourself and really increase your vibe because that's really what a lot of communication is it's kind of maximizing your vibe and sharing that with others Okay, it's offering your own personality and energy to other people. Okay, if you like Joseph, go check out his channel. Amazing guy, amazing content. His content will literally change your life. Uh, check him out, link in the description. Also, uh, annotation, click his face, okay? Thank you. Anything to add on? Yeah, it was great to have you down here in LA. I had a great time. Yeah, man, me too. And uh, we gotta go check out some more places. It's almost sunset, so we're gonna go and check out some more places. You got another three, four hours here, so mm -hmm. we're gonna make the best of it, and then you're gonna come back, right? Yeah, buddy. Okay. Definitely come back to LA. Okay, see you later. All right, man. Take care.